we've been quite lucky with the weather. It did say on the forecast that there was going to be heavy showers today, but it's either already rained or maybe it's going to rain on us later and I'm talking too soon, I don't know. But we're going to be heading now to the old part of Jeonju. It's called the Hanok village and I think Hanok's like the word for the types of buildings people used to live in. I think nowadays it's very much a tourist attraction. Most of the buildings aren't like resided in anymore. They're either hotels or like market stalls or restaurants. But we're gonna go and check it out anyway and see what it's like. actually is the name of the building of the houses which are traditional buildings originally they're built in like the 14th century they're always made of like wood and mud and kind of stone very natural materials and they pay particular attention I think to like where the mountain is and where a stream is these ones obviously have been renovated quite a lot but it's still nice to really see that like traditional old-fashioned style in all the buildings So actually one of the main things to do when you come to Jeonju is to come and stay in one of these old hanoks like this one and you can stay sleeping on the floor a bit like we are but in a bit more of a traditional setting. However, it's really really expensive which is why we're staying out of town in a very non-traditional hostel. wandered down a little deserted alleyway again and we've come across another big street with all these lovely water beaches and these cute little pagodery things like the one behind us and honestly it's just like there's a few main streets which have loads and loads of people on and that's where all of the places are selling like things on sticks and souvenirs and magnets and all that kind of stuff but you just come down one alleyway and then you come out somewhere that's completely quiet again it's super weird I just can't get over this being one of the major tourist attractions and it being literally dead. Oh, this is pretty. So we've come to one of the little restaurants we just picked one out at random. We thought it looked sweet. And we've got a lovely seat right next to the garden, which is nice. And we're gonna order both the same thing because we're not very good at sharing food. Um, we're going to get the beef bibimbap and apparently bibimbap it's you can get it all across Korea and it's known as one of their like staple dishes but apparently they do it the best here in Jeonju so we're going to try it out and see what it's like. So everywhere we go in Korea they always bring you like a few little dishes before your main meal and they're always like kind of kimchi-ish things or like red pickled things. We kind of thought they were accompaniments to our main meal but I read online yesterday that you were just meant to eat them kind of like an appetizer and then also eat them during your meal as well. Yeah, so we've got like some greens which look a bit like celery and then some other stuff which looks oh it looks like pumpkin leaves with like bean curd paste or something and then something which what would we would call kimchi in the UK which is like pickled I think it's pickled turnip I really like it Jenny's not the biggest fan so this is actually my first time having a bit of Rob tried it when we were back in Busan, but I haven't had it yet, so this is my first go. I've just given it a bit of a mix. I don't know if you're meant to mix it, but that seems to make sense to me. Mmm. That's delicious. It's like flavours you never normally pair together. Like there's kind of like spicy chilli flavour, but then like fresh, almost like mint lettuce leaves. And then there's like lemon in here. There's like definitely sesame undertones, kind of sweet undertones. It's just like really, really, really fresh. But then, I don't know, like I can't explain it. It's not flavors that we've ever had before or anywhere else in Asia. It's just so like fresh and light, kind of spicy, which is why I'm crying. <laughs> Mm. 
that was delicious i feel like i find it really hard to describe the flavors though i feel like korean food is so different to the other asian food that we're used to that it's just so hard to describe what it tastes like but it was really good trust me So we've come to the Jaman Art Village. Uh, it was originally like a shanty town built by refugees from the Korean War, similar to the place we went in Busan actually. And now it's kind of developed a bit, gentrified a bit, and it's become just an artistic place with lots of different murals to look at, artwork. There's no one here again. I think you might have just walk around the place, take in all of the murals and artwork, but also it's known for its little coffee shops. I'm hoping there might be one open, but because there's no one here, I do get the feeling that all the coffee shops might be shut. Unfortunately, it looks like all of the coffee shops are closed. We're gonna have to head back into town if we wanna get any coffee but it's really pretty here. I think if I had to choose between here and Gamcheon in Busan, I'd actually probably choose to come here, even though it's way smaller and the artworks aren't probably as big and fancy. There's just like not millions of people around. It feels like somewhere people genuinely do live rather than somewhere people just like open shops and pottery studios and stuff. Yeah, the other place is a lot more of a tourist attraction, isn't it? Yeah, this place is really sweet and genuinely like a little village where people live and also because this place is at the top of a hill like Gamcheon in Busan you get some really really nice views over the city unfortunately started to drizzle just slightly so we've taken refuge in this like rooftop coffee shop Rob's gone for a nice latte and I've gone for a nice warm cappuccino and we've just been reflecting on the day it's been such a nice day we've just been wandering around the streets of Jeonju really looking at the old buildings in the Hanoks looking at the murals up in the mural village and just kind of soaking it all in really so now feels like a good time to end the video, so we'll end it here and then we'll pick up again tomorrow where we're heading to Seoul.